What is up YouTube? So a little different scenery today. We are currently in Missouri. We are at our friend's lodge right now and they have an incredible home gym. Like this is insane, right? Like so much stuff. There's a sauna in there, dumbbells, all this fun stuff. So I am recording a arm workout, another tank top arm workout for you guys. This will be week three. I know I have been uploading a lot of arms lately. I just wanted to get this series out there, uh, especially with summer coming, spring break, all the fun stuff. So definitely comment below if you liked this style this week. I know I got a lot of positive feedback from the 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven arm workout last week, plus the voiceover. So after you watch this video, definitely check that one out if you haven't already. So you guys will see the workout. Bye. All right, so the first exercise for this workout will actually be a superset, and you will do this for 10 rounds. I had limited equipment in this gym, so I had to make do with what I had. So your first 10 rounds, like I said, will be 10 carabiner extensions. So if you notice in my hand, I don't have a handle, I don't have a bar, I don't have anything in my hand except for the carabiner that's on the cable machine. And you'll be surprised at how difficult this truly is when you don't have anything in between you and the weights for this tricep extension. So you might have to drop the weight. Um, I definitely know that I have to drop the weight when I take any sort of attachment off of the cable machine itself. So as you can see, I'm pushing little baby weight there. It's moving with every single rep, but you will do 10 of those and you'll do 10 on each arm. And then you will go immediately into hammer curls and you will do five hammer curls on each arm. You will alternate, as you can see, I do right, left, right, left, and that will be your first superset. So you'll probably rest about one to one and a half minutes in between each round, and then you will start up the next exercise, which you will see as soon as I get done just beasting out these hammer curls. Look at my face, I'm so beasty. Hold on, okay, next thing. Alrighty, so our next exercise is actually going to be um, dumbbell curls, alternate, it will be, <laughs> sorry. So our next exercise will be concentration dumbbell curls. And you will do alternating arms again, and you will do this until failure. So a good a good um, rule of thumb for picking the weight for this is just cut your max rep weight on your curls in half because you obviously don't have your momentum to swing these. You are leaning over. It is a much, uh, like well, more concentrated curl compared to a normal bicep curl. So like I said, drop it about half in half compared to the max rep weight that you would use for standing regular bicep curls. And you'll do these until failure. So that means if you can do eight the first time and then seven and then 10 and then four, that's, that's what you do. You're not aiming for a specific number on these. You are not aiming for a specific rep range. You only are aiming to go until complete failure. Obviously, you always want to remember to keep your form as perfect as you can. As you notice, I do drop on this one. I think I finished like four on the last set. Yep, four. There it is. Look at me. I'm so small. But just keep that in mind. Failure, form, fantastic. All right. This next and final exercise is quite the doozy. So it's a 10 to 1. So, oh my goodness. You, again, use that same dumbbell concentration weight that you just finished with. Cut your rep weight in half, your max rep weight in half. You are going to do 10 curls on your right side. And then you're going to hold the weight in your hand. And then you're going to do 10 curls on your left side. Look at me. That was timed perfectly. After you are done curling 10 on your right and 10 on your left, you will then curl 10 together. This really sucks. It's really hard. It's really challenging, and it will burn. It will burn like crazy. It's a lot of reps, and as soon as you're done doing the 10 together, you will then start with 9 reps, but you start with your left side. I like to do this. I like to alternate what arm I start with, just so that the same arm isn't going after the together uh, set. You don't have to do that if you feel like it's too challenging. You certainly don't have to do that, um, but it's just what I do. So now I go to the nine, and I will do nine on my left, and then nine on my right, and nine together. And then when I start the eight, I will start that on my right side, eight on the left, eight together, so on and so forth, all the way down until you hit one. Like I said, it's very challenging. Please remember to not stop. Do not drop the weight. Do not set the weight down. Do not take a break. Don't stop to get water. It will take you about five to six minutes to finish all of this if the rep or if, if you're using the, the right weight. Um, if it takes you less time, if it's if it doesn't feel like it's challenging enough, definitely up your weight. 
Uh, this is meant to burn like crazy. You will lose your form around <laughs> rep 5. You'll see me kind of change my form a little bit uh, just to compensate for how difficult it truly is. Try not to swing your body. I'm really swinging my body here. Uh, just do your best to not do that, to really, truly concentrate that bicep. And this will be the last exercise for the workout. Um, like I said, it does take five to six minutes to finish it out. So you'll want to have one to two songs uh, lined up, ready to go, because you aren't stopping. You're not stopping, like I said. You're not stopping to change your phone. You're not stopping to get some water. You're not stopping to do anything. You're not setting that weight down ever. You're not dropping the weight. You are not stopping. So if you guys want to continue watching, I think I'm on rep like six now. I don't know. Let's find out when I do the together ones. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, I was only on eight. Yep, so this does take a while. Like I said, the next three minutes I will just be finishing this, this set and then you are done. So hope you guys enjoyed the workout. Comment below. I'm going to throw a song up for the last few minutes if you want to keep watching. Enjoy! You have